Yo, hello guys, welcome back with me, Faisal Abdurazan. Okay, today I want to explain about social swap with the title is easy way to use the social swap decks. Okay, let's check this out. Okay, what is social swap? Did you know what is social swap? Social swap is a frog of Uniswap V2 the leverage the header the header smart contract service or HSCS to include solidity smart contracts integration with the header token service or HTH. These smart contracts implement an automated market maker or EMM protocol which facilitates token swaps within decentralized liquidity pools. And then our lesson for today. Okay, today I will explain a tutorial on how to easily use social swap, which I will break down into four swapping tokens, and then second liquidity, and then third yield farming, and then the last bridge liquidity. Okay, for lesson one, which is swapping tokens. Okay, let's go check my video tutorial. Yo, okay, this is the lesson one tutorial how to swap tokens on social swap. Okay, first connect wallet. If you didn't have a wallet from Hedera, you can download on hashpike.ape. Okay, after you download, you can connect wallet. Okay, this is per wallet. You can with per code QR code or per with code. I want to connect with per code. Then this is you can go to wallet that app and then connect the app, and then pass the. Yeah, this is a proof. Okay. This is directly connect to social swap dot finance. Okay, don't forget you must have an H bar. If you don't have H bar, you can send from Binance, KuCoin, or etc. Okay, go to swap. On the swap page, navigate to the top right nav bar and click connect wallet. Okay, this is done, and then. This will open a window that prompt you to connect your wallet via hash connect. Yeah, the part one. Approve the connection in hashback. In the user interface like this, yeah. Select token A. This is I will choose H bar. Okay. And then choose the token you would like to swipe. This I want to swipe the source token. By default, social swap only list verified token like H bar, source A, B, and etc. If you don't see a token you wish to swap, you can import it by entering the token ID on that. In the search bar, acknowledge and disclaimer and click OK. After that, once the share trading page has been selected, enter the amount of H bar. Uh, for example, I want to swap 10 H bar. The estimate amount of token B, the source token received is automatically calculated. This is for 10 H bar, I will receive 24 source token. And then if they enter the amount of token B, or you can uh, also like, I want to, uh, I want to 20 source, okay, you just need 8 H bar. Lastly, ensure the slip page minimal. Receive price in page fee and are to your satisfaction. Okay, before I will uh, tell what is slippage, it is okay. Slippage, slippage is the difference between the expected price of a trade and the actual price at which the trade is executed, and then. Max receive the maximum amount of token B the source token received on a trade this varies depending on the slippage tolerance. 
and then slippage tolerance the amount of slippage express it as a percentage you are willing to take on a trade by default this is set to 0.5 percent like that and then you may need to adjust this depending on the availability of liquidity do so by clicking the pencil icon like that or by clicking the gear on the nav bar a low value ensure the price low value and so the price at the confirmation time closely match the actual price of the transaction although this comes at risk of my transaction filing a higher value increase the likelihood of my transaction succeeding at the risk of the discrepancy between this price okay i will use the default 0.5 and then price impact price impact is the difference between the market price and estimated price due to trade size the lower the price impact the more desirability the trade outcome and then the fee for each trade a fixed 0.3 percent fee is paid of which 0.25 percent goes to liquidity provider and then 0.05 percent to the dow treasure note that this is an in addition to the gas fee and then road trades can be road through multi hoops intermediate lps by default the protocol will choose a road that offer the best price for your trade however you can manually select any available route okay once you are ready to proceed click swap and approve the transaction on hashtag wallet proof the gas we will display in wallet if you have not yet associated the token you will first be prompted to do so first the trade should execute within several seconds okay this is a success done try increasing your sleep children if the issue persists reach out to them in a discord support channel okay this is the south token the initial is 20 south and now it's more it's more higher on 44 south okay i think this i think done with swap see you on the next tutorial okay after we see about swapping token and then now uh, i will show you lesson two on liquidity so let's check my video tutorial okay welcome back with me <laughs> this is the listen to on uh, liquidity tutorial how to add liquidity first you must connect always connect to your hashtag and ensure you have sufficient h bar and then navigate to the liquidity page this is the uh cinema of liquidity page and then on the user interface like token a and token b i use to h bar and token b south token if you don't see a token you wish the swap you can import like a swap token you can choose the you can uh, search entering the token id in the search bar okay enter some values you can uh, upper and lower phase this values determine what amount of each token you want to provide as liquidity if you are creating the pool you must set the ratio of token in the pool which determine the price of the tokens usually if a token has market price it makes sense to set the ratio such that the price of the tokens approximate market price if the price are set too far from the market's arbitrage will step in the rebellions in the pool to match market price of your expense note that the protocol charges a 50 dollar fee to create a pool this is to prevent spamming if the pool doesn't exist entering a value in the upper field out of populate the lower field base on the ratio the combined value of a tokens must always equal to value of b tokens okay uh, in this session i will mix the sauce because my h bar is too much and then the sauce token only for the four i will so i will uh, max on the sauce token 
And then next, shift your attention to the bottom of the interface, adjust the slippage tolerance, and make note of share of pull and LP token. Okay, I use 0.5 slippage. And then, uh, what is share of pool? What is the meaning of share of pool? Okay, share of pool is your percent percent ownership of the liquidity pool based on the token amounts you have entered. Higher percent ownership translate into a better return on your principal investment. Yeah, and then LP token. What is that? What is LP tokens? LP tokens is a derivative asset acting ownership of the liquidity you have provided five or six of all fees are aggregate and distribute to liquidity providers on pro rata basis based on the number of lp tokens they hold okay once you are ready to process click supply aspect will first from and then click up Approve token point. You can approve the transaction. The gas fee will be displayed in wallet. Max gas 0.23 H bar. Approximate what fee only 0.7 H bar. And then this is success. The transaction showed success within several seconds. Yes, only um less than 10 seconds. If it's file trying, collect your zip page storage. If the issue persists, reach out the team in a discord support channel okay this is my uh, liquidity and then how to withdraw liquidity this is I will tell you how to uh, withdraw liquidity on social swap navigate to the my pools interface on the liquidity page yes this is like my pools interface on liquidity page here you will see a list of pairs that you are providing liquidity to if you don't see a pool you join you can import by click the upper link selected you can import it manually if 100% of your LP tokens are stacked in a crop the circle this LP token will not appear in the my pool step on the liquidity page until any number of them have been unstaked. Click on a pool expand to interface display from top to bottom. Yeah. This is pool H this is H bar source, this is uh, your pool amount and then pool H bar number of H bar tokens representing one per two the total value of your LP tokens and then source the number of source token total value of your LP tokens and then USD value use this only 2.4 USD value of my LP tokens <laughs> okay and share of pool only <laughs> less than 0.5 percent <laughs> and then if you want to uh, uh, supply is you and uh, need uh, more LP tokens okay in this section I will uh, withdraw my LP tokens and then just click withdraw will expand the interface further okay and turn the number of LP tokens you would like to withdraw I will maximize my LP tokens and then will appear below both token A and both token B respectively once already already click withdraw and approve the transaction in aspect yeah you need approve the transaction showed success with several tokens I think mm, more than 10 seconds for oh yes success if you are encountering issues reach out the team on discord support channel yeah. Okay, I think enough for me. See you on the next tutorial. Yeah. After we listen about swapping tokens and liquidity, and then the lesson number three is yield farming. Okay, uh, I think you uh, show me, and then this is the video tutorial. You. Yeah. This is lesson number three. How to farm yield. Okay. And this is the 
navigate to the farm page this is the farm page and then you will see list of token pairs that are receiving a weighted percentage of emission from the saucer swap from farm contracts your total value stake is located in the top left corner of the interface you can filter for specific crop circle in the top right search bar click the button directly below or show harvest or transfer accurate rewards to your wallet from all farms in which you have lp tokens feature a list of token pairs with crop circle and h bar with btc h bar usdc and etc and then this is apr the farm total apr or the sum of the farm base apr and lp rewards lp APR and then what is liquidity liquidity is the combined value of LP token stake in a farm and then this is earning is the value of accurate token stroke yield farming user specific click on crop circle to expand the interface if you don't have appreciate LP token click at token A token B otherwise click stake uh, this section I will uh, from H bear and sauce okay click stake and then next enter the number of LP tokens you wish to stake in the pop-up window and click stake one more I will make smells uh, my uh, LP tokens and then click stake and then go to high spec wallet and approve approve the transaction in spec wallet the transaction should execute within several seconds if you are encountering issues reach out the team in a discord support yeah this is success and then this is the uh, above is a crop circle with stake lp token display from top to bottom arm balance the usd value and number of stake lp tokens and then token a h bar number of h bar token representing 0.5 total value of your stake lp token and then source token and then earn yeah the estimate number of tokens earned by yield frame that have yet to be as fast are first this is a uh, higher more time more higher this is change you can stake harvest and unstake at any time there is no lock up period for staking in crop circle okay i think enough for listen through let's go to listen for tutorial on listen for bye bye okay the last lesson this is lesson number four this is bridge liquidity i will show you how to bridge liquidity from ethereum or polygon to hedera my net let's check this out okay this is lesson number four or the last lesson and i will show you how to bridge liquidity from it's from ethereum or polygon to hedera using hashboard network let's check this out okay first i will connect the software cryptocurrency wallet to access our your my digital assets metamax is the ACs to use for evm network and can hold all of my evm compatible token okay uh the first i will connect my metamax connect my connect your evm wallet using metamax okay waiting for confirmation from metamax okay and then this is after connect metamax a successful connection to any connected account will show a green dot yeah please make sure your metamax is in a eth or metic to process transaction okay and then for a hedera based account you can import your account with either a key store file name name mic press or private key in addition you can connect with your hashback wallet friendly wallet with more wallet integration coming soon alternatively click create create header account and the new account must be registered in the hedera portal registration for mainnet does requires some kyc documentation once finished you can obtain your new account id 
okay i will import header account using private key wait a minute okay okay this is connect with green dot and then which network your asset currently on first select from network next select from token you want to port in the dim i will uh from matic or polygon my net and then token are h bar because i have um, some h bar token okay will bridge to hedera my net now you you can enter the amount that you want to port and when ready slide the arrow button to confirm okay i will maximize okay don't forget this is any minimum amount the porting is six zero eight one h bar uh, okay i will hmm, 17 until 890 no eight nine uh, five maybe okay slide to confirm yeah um, need uh, need some times okay finally after <laughs> waiting for um, some time transaction complete yeah my transaction is complete my projected asset are now in my destination wallet let's see on oh, and swag oh yeah H bar my H bar at hundred and seventy six. Okay. Yeah, if you can, if you can find resin and don't receive, yeah, you can don't receive. Okay, I hope you had a good experience on the Hashboard portal. If you had any problems or have additional question, please visit our frequently asked and question and you can uh, join contact us on the social media of hasport okay thank you yeah after i explain about uh, for lesson and then if you need some information you can go to social web social media first you can go to website and then the discord you can join the discord channel and then you can follow Twitter account from Sensor Swap Labs. And then you can follow also on Medium. And then I already did YouTube. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and like the Sensor Swap YouTube video. And then follow the Instagram Sensor Swap. And then the last, don't forget to join the Telegram group from Sensor Swap Labs. Okay. I think enough for me. Thank you for your attention. See you on the next video and don't forget to join Saucer Swap. Bye bye.